What's up everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we take a look at a early sneaker, uh, but before we get into that, if you haven't uh, been on this channel before, here we do sneaker reviews. We have some early reviews. We discuss the sneaker in great detail, the fit and all that, the sizing and all that good stuff. Also give our information on shock drives. We talk about a lot of different things here on this channel. If you're interested in that, sub up to the channel right down below. Also hit that like button on today's video and leave a comment letting me know your thoughts on the sneaker that we're taking a look at. Now today, uh, we know we got a holiday coming up without giving too much away. We got an orange and white Nike box, white Nike branding on here. You see the box label gonna read it out loud for you see it's Nike Donk Low Retro PRM PRM standing for premium and the color is pale ivory medium soft pink this is a size 10 and a half 10.5 uh, this is not my size however I am waiting as we take a look at this little stamp right here I am waiting on my personal size because if you follow the sneakers app, we did have a shot drop yesterday on these. As I show you the paper, it's smooth on one side, a little rough on the other. Inside the box, no green and white YDM sticker. And if you haven't figured it out right now or so far, we're going to bring out the sneakers so you know what we're talking about. Here we go, guys. We have the 2023 Nike Donk Low Valentine's Day. Before we get into it, let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Uh, and first thoughts, the color combination was a little bit, I'm just gonna say different for me. Wasn't too uh, familiar with the color combination, but now that I have it in hand, we're gonna go into detail with the sneaker. You have the pale ivory overlays going along your eyelids and your mud guard. And as you can see, they did use some premium leather on here. You can see it's pebbled up, toned up, as you would say. It's got that good uh, leather action. You do have a medium soft pink swoosh on here. And you do have that burgundy crushed colorway or burgundy or maroon on your uh, quarter panel right here. Get to the uh, midsole of the sneaker, you have that... Uh, Sail colorway or is that ivory pale ivory colorway on your midsole, whatever color you prefer to use. And at the very bottom, you have some burgundy going on, which leads to the outsole. You do have that burgundy outsole on here, standard Nike don't outsole. We're going to take a look at the heel of the sneaker. There we go. You do have that medium soft pink heel badge on here with Nike embroidered on here in white lettering. You do have more of that burgundy going around your heel right there. And it takes you to the medial side of the sneaker. We do have a medium soft pink leather swoosh and the leather is pebbled up tumble as well. You got more of that uh, great premium leather on your pale ivory overlay, your eyelids and going around your mud guard. You do have that burgundy or maroon colorway on your quarter panel as well. Your medial, I'm sorry, your uh, midsole, you do have that pale ivory colorway or sail colorway. And you have that burgundy at the very bottom. And it takes a look at the toe box. The toe box leather and the quarter panel leather, it appears to be the same. And right here as well, it's not bad leather, but it's not great as well. Let's go ahead and take the stuffing out. You do have your paper come in here. Nothing spectacular. And here is the toolbox. As I push on it slightly, see it's not really giving anything. I'm not familiar with this material as far as creasing. Cause I do use shoe creases in my shoes, but uh. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on the leather on the toe box. Do comes factory lace with the burgundy or maroon flat laces. And you do have a nylon burgundy patch. I'm sorry, nylon or burgundy tongue. And you do have a medium soft pink 
woven patch right here with Nike Air branding or Nike branding on it in the pale ivory colorway. And this is the back of the tongue. You got the little message from Nike. And you do have a, a burgundy or maroon uh, sock liner. It's a that fuzzy material, kind of like a tennis ball. And you do have that same color insert with the medium soft pink Nike branding. And you do see that sizing sticker in there, which leads me to the sizing tag. Try to get you guys that information if you haven't already. Hit that like button. As I read you, it says size 10 and a half. And the production date is August the 3rd of 2022 to September 13th of 2022. So, uh, a little over a month of production with these. So, these are set to come out on February the 7th, 2023. At the time I'm recording this video, these are set to come out February 7, 2023. And if I'm correct, that's a week before Valentine's Day. So Nike finally getting it right. I guess they're listening to us. We finally getting the holiday themed sneakers and time for the holiday because in the past we have got St. Patrick's Day, Nike's and St. Patrick's Day was weeks ago and all that good stuff and so forth and so forth. So finally we can have these on feet when we taking our little boo thing out on the little date side piece or whatever you have. I'm not judging. And you can have these on feet. You can match you up a little outfit, coordinate a little something to go with this. So, and there you go. Your Valentine's Day sneakers on feet on Valentine's Day. So shout out to Nike. Thank you guys for that. And I'm still waiting on my personal pair to come in because I hit on that shot drop that released yesterday which you did the scratch off and all that good stuff so that's it for the uh video let me know your thoughts in the comment section again and like i always tell you guys if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know but it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker i'm titanic feet jack i'm signing out